Good morning everyone. This is Satish Mamidipali from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today I'm here to discuss the topic of similarity discovery in Enterprise Data Catalog version 10.5. What is similarity discovery? Similarity discovery is a process of discovering similar assets across resources using metadata features like names and profiled features like signature, patterns and others. Similar score between two assets is considered to decide whether business glossary term or data domain should be propagated from one asset to the other in the catalog. So basically similarity discovery will enable you to run data domain propagation or business term association from one asset to the other in the catalog. What is the main motive for changes to similarity discovery feature from EDC 10.4 to EDC 10.5. The main reason is to move away from the Hadoop architecture, which is the biggest change in the overall architecture. Similarity discovery was executed across all the resources in the catalog, causing extreme capacity constraint on other jobs and services. A lot of false positives were computed for numeric and data type columns, and a lot of duplicates were generated. Similarity discovery was computed across all the features all at once for all the resources. Persistent store was not shared between similarity and catalog and was affecting the performance of the catalog service. So what exactly has changed in similarity discovery for 10.5? In 10.5, we can limit the similarity computation to a group of resources. Users can logically group the resources on where one can find the similarity based on the business use case. We can discard pattern and unique value similarity for numeric and data type columns for eliminating the false positives. Users have an option to select only the required features like name, name and data, name and pattern, etc. on which the similarity discovery should run. A cumulative flag is provided to add newly selected feature results on top of previously selected feature results without any recomputation. Dedicated persistent store for similarity discovery has been provided in the form of PostgreSQL DB, which is a feature from Informatica cluster service. All the above features has been embedded and put together as a new resource type in similarity discovery resource. Similarity discovery resource. Is it the new resource? It is the new resource type which has been added to EDC 10.5 from the scanner configuration, from the catalog administrator, where you configure a new resource. So basically uh, by selecting the resource type and choose from the options where normally you will select uh, a resource like an Oracle or an SQL server, you can choose the resource as Informatica Similarity Discovery Scanner. And you can group the resources on which you can run the similarity run. The number of uh, resources that you can group together at once is four and with custom option enabled, you can do more than four also. But before running your Informatica similarity discovery scanner, the main prerequisite that you need to keep in mind is like, ensure that you have selected the run similarity profile option on the resources for which you want to run the similarity discovery in the catalog administrator. For more information, you can refer the documentation for 10.5 from our Informatica documentation site on similarity discovery resource. So once you have configured or grouped the resources for which you want to run the similarity run, you will come to the metadata load settings page where you enable the similarity discovery on the required features or for name, patterns or unique values with cumulative or non-cumulative option enabled. As I can see, the custom options will enable you to use more features for this particular similarity discovery scanner. So what are the similarity discovery features that are available for 10.5 when you use the similarity discovery scanner? So you can determine similar columns across data sources based on the column names. The name match uses a string which will identify the columns that have similar names. When coming to the patterns, you can identify the data pattern in the data sources and calculate the percentage of pattern overlap across the column pairs for all data types with 
and also for the unique values you can determine similar columns across data sources based on distinct values this distinct value overlap is also calculated as a percentage for distinct value that overlap is found in between two columns so once you run the feature for cumulative similarity feature computation the data from your catalog will look like this for finding the similar columns you'll be getting the confidence score which will give you the percentage of confirmance based on name and also if you have chosen the cumulative option and you have enabled an extra feature along with the name like like pattern or unique values you will get the similarity computed on name and pattern by enabling it on existing of the selected feature already so like you have got 95 percent confidence on name as well as pattern we would love to hear from you please contact or email us at supportvideos at informatica.com with your questions and also kindly visit our twitter account at twitter.com slash infasupport thank you